Love it when you're getting wild Say so I'm in the club with me Crown on your head cause she's a ghetto queen Like bling 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 Baby there is something that I need to know Baby turn around and let me see that sexy body go bop 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 That is all yeah. I wanna uh. see What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and for today's video, I am gonna be doing a tutorial on this look right here. As you would have seen by the title, this is a New Year's Eve glam inspired makeup look and I did not hold back on this one, you guys. Whenever I think of New Year's, I always think of like super glam, intense, black, smoky eye with some glitter on top and that is exactly what this look is. I typically don't like to do really dark smoky eyes on myself with like the liner, the intense smoked out liner and all that just because my eyes are quite big and I feel like it's really intense. But I don't know, I actually really like how this one turned out. This look is really really easy to do you guys. There's just a lot of blending that is involved. But if you have the patience to sit there and blend, then you are good to go. I feel like this is the kind of makeup look that would go with any outfit that you decide to wear for your night out. Me personally, I don't have any plans for New Year's Eve and I probably won't have any. But hey, I really wanted to do a New Year's Eve glam makeup look for you guys and this is what I came up with. So if you do enjoy it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below and with that being said, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, we are jumping straight into things today, starting off firstly with foundation. I have of course already prepped and primed my skin prior to. So this foundation, if you didn't already recognize it is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. The shade that I use is Golden Beige and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to my skin and blend it in with a dampened Miracle Complexion Sponge from Real Techniques. You guys who have watched me regularly know that I love this stuff and I rave on about it constantly. And I'm going to continue to tell you guys how much I love it because it is full coverage, evens out my skin tone, the color matches my skin really nicely, and above all that, it's drugstore, so super affordable and inexpensive. Now, moving on to the darkness underneath my eyes. You guys know I like to color correct. Today, I decided to use the Maybelline Master Camo Corrector Pen in Apricot, but damn, like, this is a lot more orange than I had expected, so... We're gonna just kind of brush over that, <laughs> but we're gonna go into concealer now. So this is my tried and true Tarte Shape Take Concealer. I like to use a mixture of two different shades. I believe this is light medium honey and light warm, I think it's called. But I've just gone ahead and applied that underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, above my brows, and a teeny dot on my chin. And once again, I'm going back in with that dampened sponge to blend all of that out. And as you can see, I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to cover up that corrector that's going on underneath, but this stuff is heavy duty. It did the trick, and I'm telling you, when it comes to this concealer, a little definitely does go a long way. So I'm also going to go ahead and prime my lids with that as well somewhat and then to set that in place I'm using the Astralis ready set go finishing powder in true translucent just taking that on a Sigma tapered highlighter brush and really pressing that into those areas underneath my eyes and then whatever is left I'm going to go ahead and set those other areas where I applied that concealer as well Next up, I'm moving on to contour. So when I'm doing a dramatic look like this one, I really like to cream contour and I'm using the Maybelline foundation stick in number 330 Toffee Caramel for that. Yes, this is a foundation stick. It's not specifically made for contour, but I feel like just because of the tone and color of it and the texture and finish, it gives me a really nice natural contour that I like. <laughs> so, I'm blending that into my skin using a Real Techniques contouring brush. I am just kind of buffing and stippling at it till I feel like it is nicely blended into my skin and bam, I look like I have cheekbones. I say this every time because it amazes me every time, but it really works, this stuff, I'm telling you. So, I also like to contour my nose a little bit with that, but I take it on a brush. This time I'm using a like an angled eyeshadow brush and I'm just lightly stippling that onto my nose 
And now we're up close and personal, which means I'm gonna get started on the eyes. So first things first, I am laying down this base from NYX. This is the eyeshadow base in skin tone, just to give me a nice smooth canvas. Everything's nice and even. And of course, I'm gonna set that into place as well. Yes, you guys, I'm pulling out the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe, and I'm going to be taking this shadow right here as my initial transitional crease shade. I have that on a Zoeva Luxe Soft Crease Brush, and I'm just running that back and forth through the crease, blending and smoking it out as I go and building it up to the intensity that I want it to be. So there is going to be a lot of layering and blending through the crease as you guys are just about to see. So next up, I'm going to be taking this shadow right here on a Zoeva Luxe crease brush. Once again, running it through the crease in pretty much the exact same placement as I did with that first shade. But I'm really working to build this up and add some depth to the crease. And with that, I'm also not going to blow it out as high as I did with that first shade. So this is all about layering and blending and building things up to the intensity that you want it to be so that there is a nice transition between shadows. So I'm running that along my lash line as well. And I'm just using the Zoeva Luxe Pencil Brush for that. So I'm really smoking it out because we want this look to be nice and smoky. So next up, I'm taking this warm brown shade down here. And yet again, you guys already know, I'm running this through my crease. This time I'm using the Zoeva Luxe Soft Definer. As I said, this is all about layering and building up the color. This is really going to add some depth to the crease as well, and it's gonna lead to a nice transition when I do go ahead and apply the black to my lids. So I'm pretty much just mimicking what I do in my crease along my bottom lash line as well, just keeping everything nice and smoky yet defined. All right guys, next up, I am taking the matte black eyeshadow from the palette on a Zoeva Luxe Classic Shader and I'm packing that onto my lids up to the crease. As you can see, it isn't completely perfect, it isn't completely opaque and as dark as you would think it would need to be, but that's because it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, let's face it, it is a little bit patchy, but I just wanted to lay this down as a base of sorts just for good measure you don't really need to but because i wanted everything to be nice and seamless i laid this down and i also continued to blend through the crease just to make sure everything is looking a-okay so this is my favorite part you guys do you see that right there that shadow is insane so this is the Stila magnificent metals glitter and glow eyeshadow in midnight no Molten Midnight, that's the one, Molten Midnight. So I pretty much just have applied this to my lids and then I slowly bring it up with a separate brush. To be honest, this is the wrong brush to use for it, but I feel like it was easier for me to get nice and precise, especially on the inner corner of my eyes. So that is why I'm using a pencil brush to kind of apply and blend it through my crease. And I'm also gonna go in with another pencil brush. I'm taking that matte black shadow from the Jaclyn Hill palette once again, and I'm running it along my bottom lash line. Just so everything is nice and Matchy matchy. You guys know how I am. And I'm also going to go back in and blend because you can never blend too much, I'm telling you. So next up, I'm going in with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner. This liner, you guys, let me firstly just say, if you want an eyeliner that glides on, I mean, as the name suggests, glide on, this is it. Like this, look no further. This is the eyeliner you need. As you can see, it's super intense and black. So I have lined my waterline and my tight line and I'm going back in with a pencil brush to smoke it out because it is a very creamy eyeliner. So it's easy to smoke it out as you initially apply it. Lastly for shadows, I'm taking this one up top here and I'm applying this as my highlight. I feel like this shadow for a pop-in brow bone and inner corner highlight is everything. I'm applying it with the Zoeva Precise Shader. And then that's pretty much it for eyeshadows. So moving on to lashes now, I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sense. I can't say this properly. Maybelline Lash Sense. <laughs> Maybelline Lash sensational volumizing mascara there we go so i'm applying that bottom and top and i am of course 
going to be going in with falsies. These are from House of Lashes. This is the Allura Light Pair, I believe that's what they're called. So you guys know the drill, just applying those with the House of Lashes Lash Adhesive. Once again, I don't want the lashes to take over the entire look, which is why I decided to go with this pair, because they aren't too intense, but they do add a little something to the eyes. So now that that's all done, we are moving back onto the face. I'm going to apply blush now. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Exposed. It is a very neutral blush in my opinion, which is what I wanted to go with because I have so much going on in the eyes. I just want to keep everything fairly neutral on the face, but I still want to add a little bit of color. You know what I mean? So moving on to highlighter, you guys know I had to go in with the highlighter. So I decided to use the Ofra Cosmetics highlighter in Rodeo Drive. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter brush to apply it. I feel like this highlighter in particular really did complement the eyes because it wasn't too intense. It is very shimmery, but it didn't take over the face. I really wanted the focus to be on the eyes, so I've just applied that in all the usual areas, tops of my cheekbones, on the bridge of my nose, on my nose, and on my cupid's bow. Which brings me to my lips. So for lip liner, I'm using this one from Rimmel. This is their Lasting Finish Stay On Lip Contouring Pencil in Natural and you guys already know that I was going to go with a neutral nude lip, especially for a look like this. I feel like it's a must. So for lipstick, I'm using this one from Dose of Colors. Unfortunately, this is a limited edition color. This was from the Desi X Katie collection in the shade called No Shade. It is actually super matte and I didn't want it to be super matte so I decided to go over top with my favorite lip gloss of all time. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in London and I just felt like that pulled everything together because it keeps the lips looking nice and luscious and juicy but not too over the top. So that's pretty much it you guys. I'm just going to go ahead and spritz my face with some of the Maribadescu facial spray and we're done. So there we have it you guys. This is the completed look. I am obsessed, like so obsessed with the shimmery eyes. I cannot stop looking in the viewfinder. It's just so shimmery. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're still here at the end watching and you are not yet subscribed to my channel, click the little red button down below before you go so you don't miss any more videos that I post. As always, I'm gonna leave a list of everything I used in the video down in the description box below. And with that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week. I will talk to you in the comments and I shall see you all in my next video. <laughs> Everybody go bum 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 b